Kia ora. Let's look at an example of what you could be doing in this 91910 standard. So for example, you are given a window cleaner and you're told it contains 2.0% uh, ammonia. And you have to find out, is that true? So we follow these steps. It looks rather complicated, but let's look at each step. We have our window cleaner. We need to titrate with an acid and we need to know the exact concentration of the acid. So we do that by titrating it first with a primary standard. Once we know then the concentration of our acid to three significant figures, we need to see, can I titrate this with my window cleaner? And the way you work that out is you do a trial to see is it a one-to-one -one ratio or must I dilute the window cleaner? Is the window cleaner too concentrated? Because I need to use similar volumes of acid and base, otherwise I start getting errors. And so based on that trial, then the window cleaner is diluted. Um, you do not have to do this dilution. It will be done for you. You just simply have to work out that it has to be diluted. And then you do the titration. So this is the actual titration you will be doing. The diluted uh, solution with our known exact concentration of hydrochloric acid. And then once we can work out the exact concentration of the diluted window cleaner over here, by using the factor that we diluted it by, we multiply that factor and we can therefore work out the exact concentration of ammonia in the window cleaner and whether that statement is true, that it contains 2.0% ammonia. So let's look at these in detail. Why HCl? HCl, strong acid, ammonia, weak base, a great titration for acid-base titration. Why 0.1 mole per liter of HCl? It's 0.1 is a great uh, concentration in titrations. So sort of anything um, around about up to 0.5 is good. If it starts getting too concentrated, uh, there are issues. And if it's too dilute, like 0.01, then uh, there are issues there. So 0.1 is great. But we need to know the exact concentration to three significant figures. So we use a primary standard. Now, a primary standard is a solid that doesn't react with air, um, the carbon dioxide or the water or the oxygen in the air. So every gram you weigh out, you know exactly how many moles of that substance is in that gram or in that mass. So when you make it up in a... Um, a flask, volumetric flask, then you know the exact concentration of that primary standard. HCl is not a primary standard. It is a gas, hydrogen chloride. It's difficult to um, know exactly how much of that gas has all dissolved in the water. So we have to uh, react it with a primary standard that is a base, and sodium carbonate is a good example. So why is 0.05 moles per litre, if I've just been talking about, oh, we need to use 0.1, and that's because we need to do the balanced equation, and we find out that it's not one sodium carbonate reacts with one HCl, but it's one sodium carbonate reacts with two HCl. So we need double the concentration of HCl for every sodium carbonate. So we need 0.05 of our sodium uh, carbonate for every 0.1 of HCl. Now, I know my exact concentration of HCl, and you will be doing this all theoretically. You won't actually be doing these uh, titrations themselves. You'll just do the calculations. Now, why can't I titrate directly with ammonia? Well, as I've already said, I don't know whether I can use the same similar volumes. So if I use 25 mils of the window cleaner, will I be using 25 mils of HCl? Or will I be using 50 mils or 100 mils or 5 mils? So I need to know that first because you bring in errors if you don't use similar volumes. And that is explained elsewhere in this booklet uh, or in module. So uh, we do a trial. And you can even work out the calculation. So then you work out the diluted window cleaner. And once you've done that titration, and this is the exact titration you'll be doing, you can work that out and then work backwards by using your dilution factor to see whether this is true. So all the best. Kia ora.